Now let's talk about the deliberative session and what that looks like in terms of the difference between the regular town meeting. Having participated in many deliberative sessions, I can tell you in general a deliberative session is very much like a regular town meeting, but for the fact that there's no final action taken on any warrant articles. The only action that is taken is the possibility that the voters might wish to amend warrant articles or they may wish to uh, zero out uh, line items in the budget. Um, those would be the, uh, or amend the bottom line of the budget. Those are the things that town meeting could do at the deliberative session, but there's no final voting at the deliberative session. There's just debate, discussion, possible amendment, and then all warrant articles as presented on the warrant are required to go to the ballot session. And Steve, one comment that I wanted to make here that I think is a little bit challenging uh, for those that are um, heading into the SB2 process, particularly for the first time, is the idea of having sort of a, one articles that are contingent upon each other. For example, um, maybe what's being put forth to the voters is to raise an appropriate a certain amount of money to do to repair a building or to raise an appropriate certain amount of money to replace the building. And in a traditional town meeting, it's very easy to put forth both articles, allow the voters to discuss and debate, and, and then take a vote on, on which one they really want. I mean, voting one down or the other one passing or whatever. That becomes a little bit more tricky when you're dealing with an SB2 situation if you're having articles that are tied in together um, with the intent that if one fails, this one is going to, if this one passes, then it's presumed that that one fails or whatever, because you don't know what's happening because you're not taking the vote. So there needs to be some um, careful crafting of those articles that may be contingent on each other, or articles that, for example, uh, something may already be in the operating budget, and there's a petitioned article for the same thing. It, 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 need to be carefully uh, carefully worded so that the voters aren't accidentally voting appropriations twice, for example, or understanding that um, you know that they had intended to pass one, you know they don't lose both of them. So some of that contingent language can be a little tricky. Um, so the deliberative session for the March town meeting is held between January 31st and February 2nd of 2015. And you can see the dates that I've indicated for the uh, April and May town meeting. And as I've already indicated, the first session is the introduction of articles, discussion, possible amendment, and then the articles go to the warrant. And many moderators simply stand up and say, we'll take article number one. Uh, there'll be a proposal to uh, put it forth to the uh, ballot. Uh, the moderator will ask to, if, if there's any discussion or presentation from the selectmen or the budget committee. Uh, and then typically the moderator will say, does anyone wish to further discuss? Uh, do I hear any amendments? And if there's no further discussion or amendments, typically a moderator will say, okay, Article 12, that's, that's the one that's being discussed, will go to the ballot as presented. Um, Warrant articles prescribed by law cannot be amended. So zoning amendments, and there are certain statutes where you are adopting certain procedures. Uh, if it's required by law, you can't amend that warrant article. One of the other key elements to keep in mind in the amendment process is you can't amend an article to eliminate the subject matter. And in fact, um, before this statute was amended, I dealt with a number of situations where uh, in a town I represented, uh, the town wanted to adopt an ordinance to regulate dance halls and places of assembly. And there were a number of people at the town meeting who didn't like the idea. So what they said was, well, I want to amend the article to see if the town will not adopt a certain ordinance. And I told the moderator, that's out of order. You can amend the article to change its substance, but not to eliminate it, uh, the subject matter completely. And that's an important limitation on the actions that can be taken at the deliberative session. Um, you cannot eviscerate an article by saying, we shall not do something, or to uh, ask the moderator to strike out the text in a proposed warrant article. And again, very important concept here, all worn articles have to be placed on the official ballot, including those articles amended by the first session. So even if the voters amend the dollar amount down to zero? 
the article needs to show up. It has to go yeah. on the warrant. It has right. to go on the warrant. So, so if there was an article to see if the town raised an appropriate $100,000 to put into the public works equipment um, uh, reserve fund. capital reserve fund, if the voters said we're going to zero that out, that article still goes to the warrant. 